Okay. I think we're streaming. I do not know yet. It says we are. But I don't see us. Oh, I see. Bye -bye. Hi, Magpie. Mm, two. Oh, it's should we post the link or something? We can post a link. Mm. Uh, or maybe I'll just I'll just go in and and reference the thing that I already did. This is this is the um, Remy. Hello. This is where I just dance, and this is like the podcast banter of this. It's let's have a booba. We're having a booba. And except for me, oh, there's four people except for me, Danielle. Hello. Okay. Okay. So, um, Oh. Oh yeah, never mind. Uh, are we? Are we? Is it too early for exposition? Um, I don't think like a, like one more minute. How is everybody's day? I want to hear one thing that you did. Mm. 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 I. Proctored tons of labs. Yes. Hi, Bubba. Now, now that you are here, I think we now should get started because it's let's have a Bubba. That's cute. I enjoy that. Quartet. Oh, so did I'm you? Really, oh, mm. Do you mean that there were three people in other than you or including you? That probably oh. will be fun later. Uh, I, I don't know who this random boyfriend is, but I'm sure he's very nice. Um, I would doubt that. I, oh, wow. Not not as a reflection of you, Remy, but I mean, oh, okay. um, opposites attract, and you're oh. just such a wonderful person. Wow. That's so kind of you, Jake. I mean, maybe one day you'll find something good in your life, Miles. Maybe you start right in front of me, but... It's me. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Magpie is done with classes. Woo! Yeah. Okay, I think okay. we are now ready to get started. We have fully done well. Danielle also convinced someone to go to the hospital. That is important. So thank you Funny. for hearing about their health. Yes. Um, I don't know. I don't know about who why you would be the the um the real world influencer here but yes i do have mate in a canadian cup um canarias mate uh sponsor us i am drinking canarias serena today um it is very good um 10 out of 10 would recommend i believe this is what um Lionel messi drinks um mm -hmm. which i think that makes him a to his country because um he is famously not uruguayan Uh, it's great being famously not Uruguay. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 yes, and. and speaking of oh. Canarias, Canarias. Um, the Kongwa setting is Ooh. kind of based on uh, the Canary Islands in some ways. Um, Let's that document. <laughs> what, what a lovely transition wait am i sharing or are you mm. you are sharing because my computer is having a good time being too slow okay Ta -da. so um Mm, I, Jonathan, I agree. That was like the most incredibly smooth thing. I did not know that was going to happen, and I'm very grateful for it. Look at that beautiful document. Look, uh, if if I have to step up to the table, I mm -hmm. will. This, this is a for, for those people who might think that I've not been giving my all these past two weeks. I'm back. 
uh, back from what I'm not sure because obviously you haven't seen that well I think you are in full you sound like you were in full health not full quite speed. you'll hear an occasional cough but yeah my my I'm back to normal mostly mm. who's not um, coughing these days um oh yeah Mateus, you were in Buddha and Pesh at the same time. How can that happen? That's so weird. Are you, are you on a bridge? Oh, on on the beautiful blue Danube. There's a there's a chain bridge, if I remember correctly. Mm. Choo -choo on the blue um, most of my time in Budapest was with Venezuelans, so uh, that was fun. Oh, so interesting perspective. Yeah. Um. Oh, we're having now a Buddha. And pest. Let's have a pest. Mm. I want to have a pest. Ow, I, I got my mat. I got my bombillas like sucked sucked into my lip. It's like stuck there. Oh, it's off now. You just you're just sucking too much. Yeah, you just you know you, you know when you practice that well, it just does. Yeah. But this last thing, and then we are totally getting started. So you like. Does does do 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 they have Capri Suns in the UK? Yes. Okay. I don't know, but like, did you always like and make and like, get like the straw like get this like stay on your lip through suction? No, uh, I didn't think that was a thing. Oh, I did it all the time. I went like, and you would just like transition it to like my lip, and it would just be like just there for like, good. I'm like, Bleh. okay, now we're getting started. So I, do I need to address this, Bubba? Uh, I mean, I don't know what kind of Venezuelans you think are existing in Venezuela, but we know the best Venezuelans are found in Budapest, Hungary. That that is correct. Budapest, after the very uh, large, I don't know what the other Budapest population. Are. Is there a Budapest? I don't know Texas. Hmm. Anyway. Anyway. Hard of Texas. Okay, now we get get started. Um, so well, Mateus is here, so we can actually do a word for owl. Oh, thank God. Okay. Um, so I feel like what we should do is Mateus should give us a proto form that he believes would be good, and we should have the people either accept or reject the word. Okay, I I'm also gonna open uh Lexigy. Hmm. Uh, uh, not that you'll see it though, because I am only sharing my Kongwa doc at the moment. Um, for, for I'm sure through my um, perfect pronunciation, I think the people at home will get um, wonderful. Yeah, uh, I can just paste stuff anyway. Um, Oh my god, there's a Budapest in Missouri. Oh, Missouri. Good old Missouri. Okay, so owl. Mm. So that would be like Aula? Yeah, Aula. Um like the Spanish for classroom. Oh, or hello. Um, okay, uh, probably we best. Do we want to make it work in Kongwa or in Yatlao first? Hmm. So well, here's the thing, everyone, with the form Aula, um, is that um, I'll, I'll go back down. Uh, here we go. Oh, I have an idea, but not as a proto forum, but at least a requirement in terms of phonology today. I want to at least just for like when I'm writing stuff, I want at least like one like nasal diphthong. In in Yatlao, right? In Yatlao, yeah. Yeah. For, can, for the I'll, word for Al? It could be in a word for Al. It could be like schwa you no actually let's yeah let's do mm. 
Let's do Shuayu. Like Ch C H um U U. I don't know. Maybe it missed a lot of U's, but I'm feeling so, Oju in uh in Congo. The Oju, yep. Which is noise. Noise like that, noise, noise, noise. Oju. Oju. Mm -hmm. Uh and then to be oh. what? Um, um, yeah. Um, cool. uh, that 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 actually does sound like fairly owly without sounding like it's like hoo hoo. Yeah. Um we could always make it our choo rather than our choo. Two cool. Oh, out oh, hmm. But that would make it uh, Odlu, and I think I prefer Oju. I prefer Oju so much more. So uh, let's just go with it. Mm -hmm. I also think that, like, Oju in general, like, is just a, it's a good form. Solid. It's a, a, a banging word. Yeah. Let's let's call it what it is. Banging. When my chain hits my chest, well, I'm banging on the dance floor. <laughs> you intentionally nasalizing <laughs> Yeah, that's that's how that's how Mia sings. That's her name. M I A. Yeah, Mia. M I. In in the UK, we call her M I A. No, uh, we, 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 we her, here what? in the states also do. I'm just being annoying. I should have. I shouldn't have expected anything better from you, really. You really shouldn't have. My humor is very low. Oh, sorry. I'll I'll zoomy zoom. Yeah, 150 is perfect. Oh, is that too much? It has That's not. That's 125. Let's see. It has an oh. Ooh, love. Ooh, wherever you are is perfect. Okay. Yes. For those at home, how we feeling about this font size? Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Great. Solid. Anywho, the <laughs> theme we had were tracing down today was looking at um migration. Hmm. Yes. So for those of you who are not caught up on the lore, Yatrao is on a main continent, and then those speakers in whatever time, probably still in the proto stage, went um, via boat device to those little islands down near there, mm. more or less. Again, that's kind of the the OG version, there is a version one that needs to get a little up dirted, but yeah. Yeah. Erp dirted. Um, so some concepts that I do think that some connection to the salmon is important, obviously. Mm -hmm. So my my two cents is that the yeah, Plow was going to be the more um, chukuku, like where they go and do like the breeding grounds and such as, right? Yeah. And um, then they lived their lives as salmon, like adults um, in the ocean mm. near those, those islands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they go... They go back to die. They go back to die. Yeah. And the breed, obviously. Not I guess it's not that obvious, but anyway. Yeah. So yeah, they they have they just come and then they say the wonderful goodbye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I uh, the continent is huge. Like it's it's supposed to be like uh analogous to something like the US. It, 
arguably this this language area is very big it is um this this was one of my pieces of feedback for miles um but in i think that we we just have to kind of um roll roll with it a bit and um enjoy the wild expanses that it offers true you know it, it no oh god no wrong thing this will come how it does i am sending or attempting to put in the any document rather the actual the 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 one that is going to be ideally the one and only yeah because um i i've made some versions which are some there are a lot of languages that have been partially done for this language family we have yatlao and kongwa are the the most documented um and then we have Yoshima, which is um, from further south. There's a different language family that is between those two, which makes that one more isolated as well. But the plan was at one point to have a a language that was more of a, a Creole based on navigators from here coming to these islands as well. Um, there's probably, I mean, thinking about it, there might well be ice sheets between these and something. So we'll have to see how uh, how that goes. I had put a little idea for an etymology for to migrate, which is a, a compound, compound word from to be far and to swim. But would that be swim? Plus far, though? Probably. I I trust you on the orders. Um, usually the, the modifying thing comes second. Yep. Um, so, um, to avoid... Uh, I mean, the document's obviously working for you, right? If you want to get the etymologies, it means that the viewers don't see me doing a bunch of scrolling. I'm like, I'm so close of getting on some documents. Okay. So we got this guy. Yeah, did it pop in? Oh, it definitely popped in. Heck yes, party people. This, oh, from your end, Jake. Mm -hmm. Scroll up. Duh. Wait, where, where do I need to be scrolling? Oh, to? More up near the maps. To the maps. To the maps. Plural. Oh. 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 Wait, what? This? Uh -oh. well, keep going. Keep going. Ooh. Yes. Wait. There it is. That's the actual map. Too much of a lag. There's a there's a big in lab lag, but um, that's that is the drawing of the current state of the continent. So those um little lines are the um mountain ranges, and yeah, that that's what we got so far. Bubba says that Jake is the David and Miles is the Jesse. And uh, Bubba, we we have already come to that conclusion. So please do not view it as an attack. Um, you're just um supporting the evidence toward the truth. I I desperately wanted to be the Jesse, but no, it, it wasn't it wasn't my fate. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you can't always be the star. Sometimes you have to be the support character. I I I think it's a it's a co it's a co-star equally equitably. You, we can believe that for my ego. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, we're in okay. Kongwa. Okay. Yeah. We so. Are. Yeah. So so this bay area, Kongwa 
it means the gate to the bay, and it refers to this group of islands here. Um, uh, okay, let's let's get this word sorted. Also, I can just look in the uh, in the Yatlao book, can't I? So you can. So this is the proto form. That's a monosan. This is the proto form for to swim. However, the proto form for to be far, dun dun dun, is still needing created. Uh, we have close, right? Or near? Uh, let's see. Yes, no. we do. It's uh, sign. Oh, in Kongwa is not. Let's see if it's in the Yatao, because it might could be. Um, no, it's not even still. Interesting. We have we do have near in Yatao. Mm. You said it was nine. No, sign. Sign. Okay. But um, it will need to be. We do need to like make things a bit bigger. Uh, in terms of symbol, oh, because yeah, we we're running out. Yeah, um, in in Yatlao, the number of syllables that are possible is significantly higher than in Kongwa. Correct. Um, and what that means is that, as we as we found with Mate or Mate. Um, that you have to do a lot more combining, but I think it's it's good as far as conlanging projects go. Um, so we could take some suggestions. Um, I would think it would probably be most interesting to get a VC. Um, V, mm. um, maybe you could maybe do a, a long vowel there, but we would end up with no, no, no long vowels. No. no. Um, I think most See, interesting would be VC. I well, we can't get VC. It has to be VCV at minimum. Oh yes, that's what I mean. Um, I mean having a vowel at the beginning. Yes, for sure. Oh my face! Thank you, thank you. I mean, to be honest, I think we both have Davidish and Jesseish qualities. Her. Um. Oh. Cool facts from Jonathan. Oh. That's a nice coalesce. I I want to see like the tree to get there. That would be so interesting to me. Mm. Uh, I get the feeling that our uh, our chat isn't as interested in making uh proto forms as as the main the main group heard, which is. Not too fine. So I'm going to say that um, it's going to have an I, E, E something, E, E. e um, um, yeah. Let's put a, let's put a G in there. E D or E G? I like E G. Or what? What? What would it, let's? Oh uh, well, hell, I'll look. What would? E E G versus E G. Yeah, E G E G versus E G. I don't think we have a lot of K Y. Let, let's let's do I K Y I. E G. Yep, it's going to have E G. Let me. I'm wondering if we've got that already. But um I doubt it. It's gonna be oh gosh, it's gonna be eagle. We do, eagle. it means eagle. God oh well, so be it. Um we could make it Iki. 
Oh, uh, so Remy, just so you know that David is for certain an Aquarius Pisces cusp. <laughs> um, and then Jesse, I'm unfamiliar with her sign. Um, you know my sign is a Sagittarius Capricorn cusp, and Jake, you are a Virgo. Yeah, so I'm the best. Mm, okay. I, I won. The salmon is the eagle of the sea. Remember also, Bubba, that tuna is the chicken of the sea. I feel like our speakers, knowing what they know, they would know that the tuna is a lot more more important than mm. than the chicken. The the chicken is a secondary creature for these people. Heard. Like the Lulu the Lulu is not is not the center of their culture. However, actually maybe Lulu would be important for the island people. Because they're much easier to take on a Poyo del Mar. Poyo del Mar. That's wonderful. So we, I realize that we have no word for tuna. So got to put that right down down there. Now, one one thing that is uh, apparent when we come to doing our uh, uh, Lexemba entries is that it's much more interesting when the the words aren't just from the same root. Um. So if if people have ideas for for how to get tuna, I mean, it, this is one of these things where, I mean, maybe we want a, a monosyllabic word and then we can uh, make it a compound in Kongwa. Um, I was going to say like blood salmon. Is salmon and tuna that similar though? Not really. I mean, tunas are vast. They're like units. Mm. Whereas, like, salmon are just kind of just like, they're like trap sized. Mm -hmm. I do two things. I'm going to put this roofer far in, but also I want to circle back and just point out the locative phrase that I just said when I put that word in. I said that right down, down there. And that grammatically made sense to me. I want everybody to list just um let that soak in. Anywho. Oh, what happened to the form? The you, you said it was already there. E E G I G Y I is already taken. No, E E I K Y I is taken. Oh, 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 oh. So but but I G Y I is good. Yeah. Oh huzzah. Oh, good show, my my wonderful noble. Oh. Where mm. are you? And oh, I'm so sorry. I cannot speak. I cannot breathe tonight. Hello there. Wow. I I, I mean I I'm a con. Ooh, I love this form. All right. Oh, again. Okay. Wonderful. So in in Yatrao, it's Atai Ki. Atai Ki. Atai Ki. And then in Kongwa is Hadedli. 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 Nice. Bang up. So, tuna. Tuna, tuna, tuna. Um, Tina, you fat lord, come get some dinner. <laughs> like, what is this reference? It, which, which makes me the Jesse of the situation. Oh my god, a thank you is excellent. Nice. Look at that. 
Adetli. Adetli. Which I I oh what I have noticed and in the writing to them I'm I have been vibing with this as well. I have just love been loving like the correlations between the sound changes. Like I can totally see how these can be sort of related to each other, and I love it. Oh, it's almost like we planned this shit. I love it. It's great. It's almost oh, like we this entire thing. Mm. Uh, tuna. 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 Mm. Uh, Are we deriving a word from from others, or are we doing proto for me stuff? I feel like I kind of want to root for tuna that's one right. syllable, and then we add something that just shows how massive it is. Like, oh, like so, they call it a tuna canoe or something. Do we, we don't have a morphological augmentative, do we? No. Do we want to make a morphological augmentative? Uh, we I'm do. fine with that thing being absent, TBH, but it could go either way with me. I think at the moment, what we've kind of been doing is we use a, a classific, like an augmentative or diminutive that is kind of classifying the first part of the compound. Mm. Like, I imagine if we wanted to talk about something that was like small and round, we would use the word for a row to kind of make it a diminutive, which I guess is not, not having a diminutive, it's kind of um, doing it in a, in a way that's more like how the diminutive works in English, right? Where yeah. we have lots of different diminutive constructions um, versus like, there are languages which only have one diminutive that can be applied everywhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing at Tuna Supreme, which sounds like a Subway sandwich that I would totally order. Tuna Supreme also sounds like a drag queen. <laughs> Unequivocally. Like, it's like, it's the best prickly pear fruit imaginable. I yeah. think that... Um, the word for tuna, excuse me, I think more for tuna should be its own proto form, and then the augmentative of that, which I am praying to some sort of superior being that we don't have this word. God damn it, we do. I don't think it could be shark, but we have shark. Could we get it close to Charlie F? Oh, like you mean like the star kiss dude? Stack his tuna. It's not a bad idea. Well, plan is is free at the moment. What From is free? Plan. 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 Let's, do, let's do plan. From Supreme plan. Plan. <laughs> uh, or we could do um, plan. I think. Or. Uh, Free. 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 Usually, if we try and do words that are like a mock-up of a English word with the nasal coda, we we'll just shove a nasal schwa on it. Yeah, and TBH, pan. I can't. I. It, yeah, it's it's pan. It can't. It can't not not be pan at this. Yeah. Okay. Um, which is gonna end up as, um, like, hello, what in, <laughs> uh, in uh, uh, Yatlao, right? So yeah, nah. Nah. as in, as as intended, people, as intended. Um. And then we, if we go in, it becomes pa. It just, it just becomes pa in. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to bolt with that. So, 
Let me let me not think about it, Jonathan. Like, let's say I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy a Jaguar. Okay. It's Jaguar. The, the car or the animal? Um, I I was intending the car because like I don't I don't believe that one should buy um a wildlife. Mm -hmm. Um. So definitely the car. Yeah. Sorry, Charlie. Hmm. I mean, Judas Supreme was just too. I it. Where was? Where are you? I think that that's gonna do this. I think that's a bang up idea, and I'm gonna keep that going. P. Oh gosh. P L E E I I P A. So if we do, oh dear gosh. This is why I love Kongwa so much because I thought to like do like tuna and shark together to kind of like bolster each other. I don't know why the sharks in my head, but I I did tuna plus shark and that got reduced down to peba, which would peba? be peba. Hey, can you copy it into the doc? I can. So finding talk. Ooh, tuna canoe would be this. This is um tuna. Ah! Oh you oh. how I I do love Koma. I like, like it's so endearing, like how, but like yes. Well we know how. It's a we good... know we know how. Panga Pongawa. Pongawa. I Pong Pongawa is also dope. I love me some Pongawa. 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 Yeah, it's not ung. It's ung. Panga. Pongawa. Pongawa. You know what? I'm gonna make a poll because I like both those forms and they're wild. <laughs> what? Pull it up. Is the root. What, the, what is the word? Oh my god, democracy thing. got the right wing out of Polish government today. I we saw that. I, that's go go Donald Tusk. Fuck it, piss. <laughs> Peace. Uh, it's not like in Gala. No, it's not what you, you think, people. Have that distinction. It's just I. I was more focused on the uh, nasal than the the vowel quality. Go Pangawa or paper. Paper. Paper Hola. Uh, Soy pepper. <laughs> Ooh. We got we got some front runners here going. Can you vote for both? No, Jonathan. That's the whole point. I mean, You're, you can if you have two YouTube accounts. Well, sure, if you want to be corrupt about it. But usually in democracy, we try to have one person one vote. Oh, that's well, that's really in first past the post. Meaning both vote for both to become the word. So you're saying to have it be kind of locked down dialectal lines or had it just be just languages can't have synonyms that I mean well, I I do think a tuna canoe could also be like a, a canoe that you you use to like go and hunt tuna. Yes. Yeah that, that's the less fun version. Yes. Uh, Arias, I know that you have never voted yet in a US election, but that's also how that works. You can't go you can't go back to that little booth and recast your vote. Once that ballot through that can pooper, it's, it's it's going. I'm just trying to imagine someone like asking if they can fish through everyone's votes to get them. I'm back out. Well, that's what happened in good old fashioned in the year 2000 with those hanging chads. The hanging chads? Mm -hmm. Who mm. are these chads and, and why were they hanging? 
Mm, that's an excellent question. Right after I end this poll in five, four, three, two, one. Pangawa is the word. Pangawa. Oh, okay. The ch the ch oh, this you this is not America. This is YouTube. That is true. That is true. YouTube's owned by America. Oh damn. YouTube is owned by the man, which is America. Um, so hanging chads back in the day before the era of computers, how you would vote is you would take these literal hole punches, which again, this was me coming from a person who was six at the time that I would me 12 years into my future. If technology did not improve, you the hole punch to vote for the people that I wanted to elect right but what would happen is that some people could not get the hand strength in mm -hmm. and they would be some little diggly do like some little dingleberries hanging off from the hole punch and those were the hanging chads and it was down to bush and gore right and then it's down to florida too so you know them hanging chads had just had a decision to make mm. And there's also a lot of old people in Florida, so they didn't have really the tensile strength anymore to really punch through. And I think that's the main theory behind what happened in Florida. Wonderful. And when we enter this next word in, it's going to be our... Uh, we can make our, our 350th word. Woo! I, I have my, uh, my little snack with me. And the snack of the stream this time is lentil chips. I'm eating lentil Tasty. chips. Mm. They are del like I call them deliciously bland. They they are just like they have the taste of crunch. Like there's no other taste. It's just crunch. Mm -hmm. It's good. I like it. It's very more the veggie straws for those of you who have ever ate in a veggie straw, but it's more bland. We love bland. We we love bland. Mm. So tastes like beans. Hmm. Uh, where are we? What's going on? Who am I? Like little pompadoms, yeah, like little pom padom 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 padoms, like exactly. Oh, we do, we do have a word based on padom padom. I don't know if you saw it when I was entering the word for tuna. Um, I, uh, I did probably miss it. So, um, I'll go to the English entry for rhythm. Um, which is the from the rhythm of the night. The night. Oh yeah. Anyway, um, uh, so to stamp is uh pada, and so the idea was that a rhythm would be like stamping over and over again, uh, and so it pada pada becomes pada pada. Pada pada. Good. And um, mm. the pop girlies would be the pada baddies. <laughs> yes. The the first pop group of the Hongwa Yatlao universe Islands is the is the pada baddies. Pada baddies. That is iconic. So um, how are these pada baddies getting from the main continent down to the little islands? Well, we have words for canoe and boat now, and catamaran. Because hmm. um, the the catamaran, it was when we were doing the, uh, the, the card for yeah. David and Jesse's uh, wedding, um, I was thinking how they would imagine a relationship. And it's kind of like these two... Uh, boats that have been tied together um, and it's almost uh, they, they're not that dissimilar from 
is they outrigger canoes. The 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 kind of boats that were used to colonize the um, Southeast Asian archipelagos. Um, yeah, the Hawazi. I don't know if they would have a plural Hawazi, but they do for now. Because we we only really have um, animate nouns taking a plural marking in Yatlao. I have put a up the idea of a caravan of boats. Um, like I'm thinking, like if I I would argue that the Kongwa and the Yatlao speakers would have a fair amount degree of continued contact. Mm. Um, so. I was gonna put it down fleet, but I like some some sort of like trade route is bound to like is bound to happen. Well, we also we also don't know whether these we have three islands and one of them is quite big. Mm -hmm. Um, so you kind of imagine that they might also have kind of island wars, and mm -hmm. like. There's trouble in the island paradise. So we can have a caravan of boats, but we, we could also have like a, a war fleet. Ooh, love it. Um, so Which, uh, I, I was going to say that could also maybe get us a nice word for pirate. Mm hmm. And I have a really good I idea. And oh, usually when I think, I think out loud, and especially now, oh, okay, this is this is going to be good. It's going to be something. So let's see what this comes out to. So I think a good, at least in. Yeah, Klau would be a good idea. Is that it is the agentive of the word to steal, which I oh, we already have that. Thief. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Ooh, but what if, ooh. What if two pirate was to steal to hunt on a boat? Mm. That yes, 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 yes. I'm also wondering, like, I'm trying to think in kind of culturally specific terms. Like, if we have a word for pirate in Kongwa, then you, like, because I'm thinking about how the English see some of our, our great seafarers and travelers versus the Spanish who accuse us of basically being pirates until the 18th century um, <laughs> and stealing their gold. <laughs> um, like, the, if the, actually, let's, let's, not, let's not get ahead of ourselves right now. Yeah. So, so, so far, the agentive of to hunt from a boat, which I think is an excellent idea for a pirate, is to, to, aku, I was well. We currently have that just becoming the word for hunt in Kongwa. Perfect, which means that we can get away with a, a kind of a, a, a novel derivation of sorts. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking. So, so if if but if if we make the agentive of the hunt um, like a pirate, then what would our word for hunter be? Well, that that's what I'm saying. I I 
I think somehow, some way, we're going to need some distinguishing other route um, in corn law for it. That's why I was thinking of this the steel hunt combination. Okay. I mean, they are stealing and hunting. They, they, they are stealing and hunting. Let's see. But Does... would it be if we're thinking about this in a as a compound? Is it are they hunting by stealing or are they stealing by hunting? Oh, no. They are stealing by hunting. They're hunting them down and then stealing. So. It would be Dweha and then Ehe, which in yeah. oh, Django. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Does it just get like completely obliterated? Yeah, like literally, literally. Uh... <laughs> oh, I, I, I just, I just put it in. Okay. <laughs> I don't. Oh. How does it? Oh, okay. Well, I have to like th th that. That just the verb to mean. Um, I have zhang o, zhang, yeah, zhang o. and Sorry, then I did a I did a you and you're fine. And then I have the version of the agentive to be zhang. Oh Jesus, zhang ang angu, zhang ang angu, That was pretty good, zhang ang angu. I I feel like we could crop that. I feel like we can do some um just ha have it like be um jangangu jangangu and just kind of like jangangu. Let, let's let's put this in the doc and I'll see what the popular opinion is. So, yeah. so basically, um, what happens is that um, in the uh, in the stage before this one, the this vowel here in that I've italicized, this is a, a weak vowel that gets lost and then the nasal affects the a so on becomes o uh, or it goes to on and then it becomes o um so when we've done the agentive the this last syllable here uh mm -hmm. has come back with full force uh we could do a poll i guess so it'd be jang so Jangagu, which would be uh -huh. basically just getting rid of one of these guys. Yeah. Um, which does happen. Yeah. Or Jang or Jangangu. Mm. Hmm. What I will say, I, I will put this to the poll for the people. But there, the agentive suffix is um, used a lot um, throughout not only Yatlao, but in Kongwa and in Yoshima, which we haven't really talked about in too much depth, but it, it's a, a main feature of the proto language. So it's, mm -hmm. a, it's, a, it's a big deal. And why I say that. Um, what is the Kongwa word for parrot? Is that the patterning of it in Kongwa is more towards Janga 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 Gu Janga Gu yeah. Yeah. and Janga Gu versus a more um, divergent Janga Gu. Have you made the poll? I have just put it in now. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. There is Jang oh, I want to say Jangaju. Jangagu and Jangangu. There is no um, yeah. There is no option for Jangangang Jangangangu. 
Yangangangagu. Yangangagu. You're trying to work my velum out, Jonathan. Yangangangagu. Yangangangagu. That practice is. Hmm. I'm gonna be walking around like my classroom tomorrow, being like, ooh, ooh, okay, all right, okay, okay, all right, okay. That is my reaction to the poll. Is is, is were those? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. John. John. Oh gosh, Matthias, why are you doing this to me? John Long Long. John Long John where we just pronounce the Beeler nasal. Oh, are, are, are we becoming ma? Oh, no. I think let's have a no nga. Clearly, when we get to Fox language, we need to make sure that we just have vowels and the villain nasal. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wait one more minute until that says two minutes ago because we are pretty, pretty in consensus as to what the answer is. In work, the word for parrot is. Jangangu, 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 Cameroon, Jangangu. Okay, okay, go, go. I was still okay. So I, this is a great story. I was walking around my classroom, being like, "Boom, I'm here." And then, like you know, I'm just shouting, like, "My daughter died in a rowboat." And then one of my students is like, "Turn my way." And she said, "My daughter died in a rowboat," and she fully knew the reference. And I'm like. The, 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 the youth are okay. The youth are fine. They tried to drown me in the river. <laughs> and I said no. <laughs> mm. So the, the caravan. Are we are we gonna identify it or are we gonna do something else? I identify Um, caravan? Some help? I mean, are we? Because it would be like a the the caravan kind of they 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 trade back and forth. It's, we don't have a word for trade though. We could also just make it like trade ship or or a, or a salmon boat if it's the salmon that also. They swim back to the islands and then up to the river. Mm. So I, 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 a good idea just popped into my brain, and let me know what you think. So, the probably the the, the basis of their food, right, is mm. salmon or like seafood, right, and mm. tubers and like taro, and kind of like if we like mix, if if we combine those two together, or somehow some way, I'm trying to get a word for like a resource. Because mm -hmm. if we say like like boat resources, or if we say like um identify no, we can't identify that. Um mm. well it would be like a a provider mm. or a carrier. Um, yeah, the courier, carrier. Carrier or courier? Um, I would but think courier. Is courier from carry? Like, are they um, ultimately from the same word? Let's let's look. Let's see if my computer will allow that. Cur, carrier or courier? Courier. From um, to run. To run. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you know that a courier is a user who earns access to a top site by uploading wares? Where Look wares is, thank you. But as 
I mean, dear God, like I, we, we could go down that route forever. So anybody search on Wiktionary, W-A-R-E-Z? Sure. Wait, you use Z? No, I'm just clarifying for those at home. <laughs> so, so you're admitting that Z is clearer than Z? I'm, I'm fully admitting that, and it's more etymologically conservative, which I say bang up. So you're admitting to be a conservative now. I, I, I am a orthographic Tory. Should we all do our legs and post for out on the same day? Maybe. Yes. I mean, so, that day is like looking like it's a Friday. Wait, so going all the way back, they are from the same? So, courier? Car carrier. Carrier. Courier. 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 Do you mean to run? Cash. Wait, it's also the origin of hurry. Oh, interesting. What? Um, also, cargo, chariot, sucker. What's that, carousing? Oh. It's, oh, it's a Maltese word, a carotzin, for a type of cut. Oh. Um, hmm. Hmm. Um, again. So, I think, oh, okay, so we, I did a, a classic Jake move, which is to implement an idea from Aymara. Uh, <gasps> what? In, in a, <laughs> sorry, go ahead. Everyone is surprised. <laughs> um. So, um, uh, we I, unfortunately haven't got 30 different words for to carry, but what we do have is a difference between to carry on your back or to bear something and to carry in the hand, which is to, like, from the word to hold. Um, I will pop those in in here so hmm. the, what we do have though uh in in Kongwa we have these directional uh suffixes that you can add to verbs um, based on body parts. And so, um, do, which is going to be from Lu, right? Um, so I, I, I'll be honest, I was looking at other doc, so I'm, my, my mind was elsewhere. As always. Yeah, naturally so. So, New, yeah, got it. That um is do absolute it is cool. Yep. Uh-huh. So we can it. do um to bear in the stomach. We do to do everything in the stomach, but we, we do a lot in the stomach. <laughs> I mean, it just speaks to who we are, really. Mm. I think um, so gassy lately. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it is through, but I mean, like, it could be, like, out, like, at into the ocean. We've come stay, out of stay kiki, bubba. Mm. Stay kiki, bubba. I, that's too close to stay kinky, but we might as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bubba, we, yes, ha ha having wonderful booba, we're having the best booba of time. <laughs> Going on. <laughs> I never know, but my my guess was like I think like because catamaran comes from what? 
A tide canoe. A tide canoe. Okay. So. A tide, T I E D, not T I D E. Yes, 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 yes. So I think, yeah, I think, I think both, because that that could that that's our version of like the big boat. It's it's a catamaran. So I think it could like be a, a bearing canoe or a bearing boat. Do we have a word for just bare boat? We, oh yeah, we do. Shy. Yeah. Oh, I think we should. That's nice and short. Let's do that. Let's use the let's use boat. Boat. Which is uh, swaii. Swaii. Yeah. Sw oh, come on, me. And come then me. with Lou. Yeah, like a little version, like a little like version. Shainu. Shainu. Shainu is is very cute. Shainu bright like a diamond. I like that. And then Shai. What would a warship like a uh, attack? Um. Ooh. Also, excellent idea. I was going to say just a, a hunt. Um. Well, on the boat. The thing is. Hunting and and war, <laughs> I feel like I feel like maybe it would be like a euphemism. Mm. Although the thing is, I feel like because uh, a hunting boat, you want like to be discreet, but also like a lot of people would hunt by themselves, right? Sure. Versus a warship, it has this idea that it's mm. like. Ooh. Carrying an army. Mm. I have an excellent. I'm I'm thinking derivation. I'm mm. thinking derivation. I'm trying to find what I want to derive from. I need derive. verbal morphology, please and thank you. I uh, we have it. We we must. We do have an iterative. At least in yeah. Plow. I want to say like to continuously hunt would be to attack. The iterative. No, <laughs> oh, oh, you're good with that cough. Iterative is is more of um. This is this is where like you get into those weird discussions of Athabascan languages, right? Where it's like, <laughs> oh, isn't it funny how this language has this word for the action of doing something in discrete units multiple times? Yeah, that's such a specific thing. And I'm like, no, that's just how I imagine the iterative. Like, um, I in my head, it's this kind of Ooh. Sisyphean kind of you start doing something and then you have to do it all over again. You know? Oh, because because it comes from to return. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was a good. I saw myself do that. Nice, good job, me. Um. Nah, 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 nah. Um, I think like maybe like from to be like we we were like from like to Pyrrhus to Scar. We don't have to Pyrrhus, I don't think. Yes. Oh, we do, we do. Lipia, Lipia. Hmm. It could be like a pier, like a, a piercing ship, like a stabbing ship. We have a word for to burn. Hmm. So Would it could be a, a burn ship. But I think our form for to burn is gonna um is gonna leave a bit to be desired. Yeah. It would be Shayo. Which if we did it with the Pyrrhus as soon as and Kongwa is gonna be running. Running. Shayepa. Yeah, Shaiepa. Or Shaiepa. Wait. Does Kongwa have diphthongs? We have a diphthongs, yeah. We have, uh, we have rising. Oh, we have sh oh, wait, shy. Shy. Shaiepa. Shaiepa. Yeah. 
So yay, but <laughs> I I think that we could get away with I think we should find a better word for attack. Mm -hmm. Um and that may maybe that's a route maybe yeah at, at at this point it seems like it's going to be like um a route we have a word for to sink it could be a a sinker ship <gasps> yeah yes 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 i'm terrified to see how this is going to get reduced in kongwa but i say jenny Okay, yeah. So basically nothing happens to Chai either Jenny. of the parts. Great. That's kind of what we half wanted. Well, some if we do the uh, the uh mm -hmm. if we take it on a um agentive route, it would be Janiku. Mm. Maybe up to a vote. I think up to a vote. Um, let's see. Warship will be derived, will be and derived from dot, dot, dot. The first being um, this oh. one. If we could also do it the other way around, right? Like in the sense of uh, the word being sinks a boat, and that would be Jenny Shy. Uh, yeah, or it sinks canoe. So for sure, we do this. Um, build plus to sink. That would be Jenny Hawa, which sounds. No. None of these are are really. Um... What What do you think? I I think I'm letting the the, the people decide. Um, okay. What What was? Uh, let me see. I'll just do Command Z. Um, no, not Lipia. Was it maybe? Yeah, it was actually. Yeah, Shaeva. To Pierce. Oh, we have the word for to smash as well. Let's put to let's let's see it. Let's do it to smash. It's just zoo. Oh. Is it that short? Just oh so. yeah, that'd be shizu. Oh, well, we know what that sounds like. An iconic song by Lady Gaga. Absolutely, boat plus two smash crush, like Wesley Crusher. Okay, well, and, and Crusher would just be um. Zuku. Ooh. Crusher. Beverly Crusher. But Crusher could be a lot of other things. Like, it could also be like a mortar and pestle or something. True. Well, look, I guess it, we really, it it's implies like a person or a. a it kind of is derived from literally the word for to man. Man, yeah. Man. I'm just. I, I feel like a woman. Do, 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 do. Oh no, it's Chai Zhu. Mm. With the Zen. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's not what my. That's home. My. Oh, 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 oh. People at home. People at home. Yes, I am wrong because tone is annoying. Yes, it is Chai Zhu with a Z. I mean, we got one vote, so I mean, so far, it's not looking too pretty. My next question is, how many words do we need? 
I mean, obviously, we've we've gone and filled in a few more. Um, mm -hmm. Are we up to the twentieth? We we're beyond the twentieth. We the next one is going to be twenty first, which I'm going to say. Um, should, I mean, we can make a birthday, but that's going to be a whole nother thing. Uh, let's do birthday. Let's. I think we need to get more festive. Let's do. Let's do birthday. No, like I'm trying to think of all of the words that I know. Like the most interesting, I think, is cumpleaños. To be honest, yeah. Um, I guess a cumpleaños and aniversario, aniversari, they have their their shared idea as well. Because Shanga in Mandarin is also just like birthday. I was gonna say like day of like well, mm, cause like when you're born, that's the day you first wake up. So like your first wake up is your day of birth. Let, let, should we see what the the form of just born day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh um, my gosh, Jonathan. That would be the best birthday present I could get is jury duty. I would be elated. Is that like the first? Oh my god! I was like go from like my birthday on and like was just sit there and listen to like the wonderful rigmarole that is just that. Oh, I would die. Is she is she happy about it or not? Hmm. I'm guessing she's not expected. That's okay. She's not excited. Uh, well, I said she's not expected, which sounds like she's not expecting, which I don't think she is, question mark. But, yes, and. I'm going to end this poll because we got three minutes in. Final votes, last call. Last call for votes. Okay, great. Noise. The word, the word is Shizu. Great. <laughs> so, literally, we have we have a old word for day, which is uh, inyai. So, day born would be enyeshe. Okay. But I, we. So one thing that happens in these languages is we get a lot of enya because of this little thing here. Called a nasal schwa. Nasal schwa, um, which did really cool stuff in Yatlao. But when we carry it over into Kongwa, it, um, it decides to make a lot of things look very similar to each other. <laughs> it does indeed. Um, however, I think we are stuck with it to an extent mm. because it is the word for day, which is Enya. Yeah. I'm trying I'm trying to get out of my one like brain real fast. But I I have to do 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 to do. Um because today, right, is like sit sun, something like this. Um, Yatlao, yes. Okay, so we're okay. That that see, uh, that that that's where my brain keeps going. So, and blow sun and blow sun is the word for day or a day in Yatlao. Mm hmm. Um, I mean, it could be a born son in Yatlao. It could be a born son. Um, which would be a, uh, because son also got, um, pretty much my words. Mm. Um, 
replaced. Like, um, so it would be, um, if we want to have that word in both, where definitely in Kongwa it makes sense, it would be yeah. a Ishisu, Ishisu, or, um, or it would be a Saishu. Uh, I'll pop it in the doc. Yeah. So now seems. I feel like they're too similar to each other. Oh, oh yeah. Like they, we we end up, but both of them again because of just the nature of the roots that we've made have these uh, sibilants, and it's not. It's not a vibe for me. This is a vibe. I think sai shi, sai shi is a sick word. Sai shi, sai shi, sai shi, sai shi, sai shi. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's that's the word for birthday. Sai shi. In Kongwa, no, in no, Yatsau. Yeah, I I don't hate the Anyeshe. Like I'm not I'm not just saying this because I'm settling. I'm saying it because I generally like it. Anyeshe. Anyeshe. See what Sanshi ends up as in Kongwa. Sure. Uh, Seje, which Seja. I think is fun. Seje? Seje. Seje. Okay. That is fun. Seje. Seje. Like Sarkeje. 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 I think yeah. that could be cute. Let's do a quick check. That it doesn't no, it doesn't already exist. Yay! Yay! Cool, let's do it. Seja. Uh, we got eight minutes to go. Wow. Mm. Just the time really did fly past. When you're having fun. Mm. So next by next week, we need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten words done in that time. More or we less. Could, yeah. So we definitely either need to a. We do have. Yeah. We do have one word. Which I made between streams, Wenagwa, the wave. Oh, the Wanwa. And oh, we we next week if we did really want to, we could finally work out how to say the Kyokus the fish a flower for for some peak uh, David Peterson realness. Yes. I think here, here, here's what we do. I think the migration thing is a good way to go. And I think it gives a lot of really cool like intercultural things. I think mm -hmm. before next time is we need to have a good idea of some things that we want to translate. Five from you, five from me. That's easy to kind of think about. We'll probably check on like what theme it should be. Mm -hmm. Wave will be, I think wave is cute. Let's make wave a, a word for the 22nd. Okay. Um, but which makes that we have nine well so five let's do five on five each um and we'll have a kind of a plan but i think that next week let's have like we have like half time on girl gets gets girl girl, girl, girl pressure per flower and then like worry about like some words that we can top down later especially if they're going to be kind of like simple simple ones 
Yeah. And <laughs> the other thing is, if there's anything left for us to present about our languages that we haven't yet, mm. you know? Exactly. We, we might need to have either A, an epilogue, or B, just like something else. But I think a cute thing could be like to talk about do we, do we have an expression for like Happy New Year? Um, I don't know. Let's let's think about that. Um, where's the come on? Oh, this is the other. It's in the other doc. Mm. Forbidden secrets. That's going to take too long to load on my document, so I know it's going to happen. Um, assuming that we don't have one, I think that could be a cute little cute thing for like the thirty first. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, really, we need an idea also of kind of how much interest there is in carrying on with this, because um, sadly, next week will be our last stream of this mini series. Yeah, um, pilot series, if you will. Yeah. But um, yeah. If you want to have more boobas, just like let us know and more boobas can be provided. Yes. The last the last one, not question mark, question mark, question mark, dot dot dot. And correct, the 27th, we're not streaming because that's kind of um close to the holiday season. And I know I can speak for Jake, but I will definitely be busy during that time. Yeah, we, we're we going to be busy. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah. That's also the reason why we did start in November, mm -hmm. was to avoid doing the 27th. Well, yeah, so I mean, it's after. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess that week is <laughs> like the week of holidays. This is a Christian stream. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jonathan. Have a happy Hanukkah. <laughs> I hope it has been good. Uh, we could very awkwardly and quickly work out how to say Hanukkah. Say so say Hanukkah? Yeah. That's the whole, we, we could... Um, we like, could give it the Sukkot treatment if we're being honest, you know. I mean, I think I think the goal now is to do, just do all the the Jewish high holidays in Kongwa. Is that what we're going to end up doing next? <laughs> I think I think we're going to have to do Tisha B'Av and all that good stuff. Uh, Happy Tree Day. Okay. Is, is is Hanukkah not a high holiday? No. Oh. I mean, I think it's one of these things that's been elevated to compete with Christmas, right? I Yes, and. Magpie saying that Judaism is now canon in the Yatlaverse. I mean... It, this is basically just an extension of of our, our world, and yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's only two high holidays. I did not know this. I mean, I will say, uh, uh, congratulations for Sukkot was uh, primarily. Uh, based on uh we we just translated it to sokoto mm -hmm. um so are you saying that hanukkah would just be hanukkah it would probably be hanukkah um oh. if unless we want to get into a debate about the h at the end and make it hanukkah <laughs> but i i don't think that's that's feasible. Yeah. Final things is that there was that one person who I saw on TikTok who was like, I don't know what Chinooka is, but I hope you didn't have a happy Chinooka. 
and that's kind of me flavor texting it, but he did say Tanuka, and that half warmed my heart because yes. Tanuka. I I really love the uh spelling Hanukkah the same as Janice. Like it just makes it just has so much flavor. Um My my brain is not computing. Because it's ha like in like from Spanish. Yes. Then N I like na. Uh, like it's usually han uh, no. Oh gosh. Yeah. Han Hanika. And then Han-ni-ka. yeah, B E K. Oh gosh, that is cursed. But yes. Anywho, our booba is unfortunately coming to a close. Yeah, so, the last bubble has gone up the straw. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately. So next week we will have our final booba to date at least. Hope to see you there. Mm-hmm. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.